Hey everyone, in this quick Photoshop video, I want to show you how to change the color of anything in Photoshop. So you could open any image inside of Photoshop and change the color of it to whatever you want. This is part of my Photoshop course, so if you want to learn more about Photoshop, check out the link below in the description of this video. This is all you have to do. Open the image inside of Photoshop. So I just went to File, and then I opened the image and found my image here on my computer. And all I have to do is with that image, I have to add what's called an adjustment layer. And to add that, there's a little icon on the very bottom in the middle there is called adjustment layer. It just looks like a kind of a half filled circle here. If you click it, it's going to give you this drop down menu and you want to pick hue and saturation. So that's the tool we're going to use to change the color. Click that. And as you could see over here on your layer, you have your image. But now on top of it, there is hue and saturation, which is going to be applied to that image. So with that top layer selected now, the hue and saturation, you should get something that looks like this, the properties window. Now, if you don't see this window or if it's somewhere else, just go to windows up here and make sure the properties panel is checked on. It may be somewhere else on your Photoshop, but it looks like this. And all you have to do with this setting is you see this hue bar here. If you take the hue left and right, it's going to change the color of your image. But we never want to work on it on that level because there may be other colors you don't want to change in your image. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to come up to the master drop down, click this and choose a color that's close to what you're trying to change. So in this case, it's easily red, but it doesn't matter if it was orange, you would pick yellow, for example. In this case, I'll pick red. And it doesn't matter if the exact color is not there because we're going to click this little drop down right here. Click that. And this eyedropper tool lets you come to your image and select and choose your color. Really, we didn't have to choose the right color here. Even if I chose the wrong color like green, I could use the eyedropper tool and come over and click. Now red is selected. Now this is what you want to pay attention to. You see the slider over here, the top part, this top bar, is the colors that you have selected right now. And the bottom part are the colors that it's going to change to. So right now on top, I've picked a range of red. So it's going from a little bit of orange all the way to the left side of red. So this range is selected on the bottom. It's the same because I haven't changed it to change the color. Now I could change my hue. So if I go this way, you see it's getting to the pink, blues and greens. If I go the other way, I get different colors that way. So this is how I would change my color, but now pay attention. Let me go all the way to kind of this blue color over here. Now look on the bottom. My original color was the red. The color it has changed to is the blue. This is a very useful slider to see kind of the before, which is the top bar and after, which is the bottom bar. So let me go to green. For example, here, if I go on this side, now look on the very bottom, it's changing it to green again from red. So the top never changes. That's your original. The bottom will change based on this slider. And hue is kind of a 360 degree wheel. So it may seem like, hey, I just made this to go to the red section or to go to the blue section and it should change my color to blue. But that's not quite how hue works. So this is a better slider to pay attention to than hue. Hue basically works in opposite direction. So if you go to blue, you're really getting colors in this range. If you come to this range, you're getting colors in this range. So it's kind of the opposite of what you see here because it's a 360 degree wheel. And if you do want to change these other two sliders, they're sometimes handy. For example, if the saturation seems too much for a car in this case, you could go ahead and reduce that a little bit to get a different color or really pump it up. If you're really looking to saturate your image a lot more and make it pop, that's your saturation slider. And then you have the lightness slider here that kind of changes the colors with making the kind of the brightness of the image lighter or darker. So these three settings come in handy with changing the color of anything inside of Photoshop. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow social media and tech videos. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.